The internal jugular vein is a paired vein, which is usually the largest vein in the neck. It begins as the direct continuation of the sigmoid sinus at the base of the skull below the jugular foramen and descends vertically downwards to end behind the sternal end of the clavicle by joining the subclavian vein to form the brachiocephalic vein. The right brachiocephalic vein unites with the left brachiocephalic vein to form the superior vena cava. The internal jugular vein presents two dilatations. One is just inferior to the jugular foramen and is called the superior bulb and the other dilatation, the inferior bulb, is just one centimeter above its termination. The superior bulb bulges in the inferior wall of middle ear. We are now in a position to draw the tributaries of the internal jugular vein. Just inferior to the jugular foramen, it drains the inferior petrosal sinus. The retromandibular vein terminates by dividing into an anterior and a posterior division. The anterior division of retromandibular vein unites with the facial vein to form the common facial vein, which drains in the internal jugular vein. The posterior division of the retromandibular vein joins the posterior auricular vein to form the external jugular vein, which goes downwards to end in the subclavian vein. The anterior jugular vein crosses anteriorly the inferior part of the internal jugular vein and terminates in the external jugular vein. The occipital vein, even though may participate in formation of the external jugular vein, sometimes ends in the superior part of internal jugular vein. Other tributaries to the internal jugular vein are the pharyngeal veins, the lingual vein, the superior thyroid vein, and the middle thyroid vein. The inferior thyroid veins drain in the left brachiocephalic vein. On the left side, the thoracic duct drains to junction of the left subclavian vein and left internal jugular vein. On the right side, the right lymphatic duct drains to junction of the right subclavian vein and right internal jugular vein. We've mentioned that the internal jugular vein exits the skull as a continuation of the sigmoid sinus by way of jugular foramen. We will draw now a more detailed diagram of the jugular foramen. The jugular foramen has a pear shape with long axis directed anteromedial. The foramen is divided into two parts by a fibro-osseous bridge that connects the jugular spine on the petrous part of the temporal bone and the jugular process of the occipital bone. The anteromedial compartment, also called the pars nervosa, contains the following structures inferior petrosal sinus, glossopharyngeal nerve, vagus nerve, accessory nerve, meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery, and meningeal branch of occipital artery. The posterolateral compartment, also called the pars vascularis, is larger and contains the internal jugular vein.